Do you want to see your team's calendar events and planned work all in one place? Of course you do. And you can do this by connecting your Google or Office 365 calendar to Tempo Planner. I'm a team lead here at Lunar Industries, and I want to see the true availability of my team's time, as well as my own. Then I can accurately plan time for projects in the resource planning view in Tempo Planner. My team and I have our meetings and other events all set up in our calendars. But our project work is planned out in the resource planning view. How can we see the total amount of time that's actually available for working on projects? The solution is simple. We connect our calendars to Tempo, and then all of our events from there appear in the resource planning view. Let me walk you through the steps as I do this for my team. First off, and very importantly, Tempo Timesheets needs to be installed. At Lunar Industries, we use the full suite of Tempo apps, so that's already done. The calendar connection to Tempo is part of the automation functionality in my work in Tempo Timesheets. Time spent on work activities in certain applications is tracked without any effort on your part. This makes logging time faster and easier, and the results are always up to date and accurate. If you want more information on automatic time tracking, it's covered in another video on our Tempo YouTube channel. Next, I need to connect my calendar to Tempo, either from my work here in the settings, or from the apps page over here. I already have the Google Calendar app installed, so now I'll install the Office 365 Calendar app, since I have some events planned there too. And I see the calendar connection options. I need to select the Enhanced option because it lets me use Tempo's advanced automation features. I'll select this option to hide the details of my calendar events in the Resource Planning view. My events will then be marked as busy and only the number of hours booked will be displayed there. But my team members will leave this option off so that I can see what work-related events are in their calendar, such as meetings, training, or planned time off. So I sign in with my Office 365 account as usual and click Next. If I had more than one account, I would select my work-related one here since I want to see only those types of events. Then I click Go to My Work and I see my calendar events show up here as activity cards. That will be great for quickly logging time to them later. Now I can view the calendar events in Tempo Planner in the Resource Planning view. I open Tempo Planner, and where are my calendar events? All I need to do is click View over here, and select Show Calendar Events. I'll expand my timeline to see them, and they're all on a separate line here, marked with this calendar icon. Just to note that calendar events aren't actual plans in Tempo Planner, so the time data from them won't show up in the Tempo reports that I'll run later on. Because I selected the Busy option when I connected my calendar, I don't see my event details when I click on a day here. And nobody else does either. But just seeing these events here tells me exactly how many remaining hours I have left for work on my projects. Now I need to make some adjustments to the plans I already had on these days, where I am now overbooked. I had made these plans before I knew how many available hours I actually had. One way to do this is to split a plan and change the duration. Then just click in a day's cell and a new plan for this issue automatically takes up the remaining hours. Or I can edit the plan and change the number of hours per day. With a bit more updating, I'm now properly booked for the upcoming weeks. Now it's time to plan some work for my team. This icon indicates that Beverly doesn't have her calendar connected yet, but the rest of my team members do, so I can see the time already planned out from their calendars. My team members did not hide the details of their calendar events, so I can click on the calendar hours here to see the titles for their meetings, training, and plan time off. The events here are in the same chronological order as they are in their calendars. 
The details provide useful information for me as a team lead. For example, I can see that Amy has too many meetings considering that she's only working four hours per day in our team. I'll need to talk to her about this. Of course, privacy is an issue that needs to be agreed upon in a team or an organization. For example, here I can see that David has a doctor's appointment, which is something that he might not want to share with me or others. As a best practice for privacy, he should mark these types of events in his work calendar itself to show as private. Then only that event will appear as busy in the resource planning view. I should talk to my whole team about doing this. So now I can plan work for my team. I know exactly how many hours are available for each of them and on which days. I can adjust any existing plans I had already made before knowing the team members' true availability. And to create new plans, I can just drag issues here from the side panel. And the plan automatically takes up the remaining hours for that day. And then I can drag the plan over these weeks. And I'll do the same thing for Saul down here. And this is easy because he's got the same number of hours every day from his calendar events. I'll do the same thing for Josephine too, but you can see that she has different amounts of time available. So I'll have to edit a bit like I did before. So that's how you can plan time for your team and for yourself by viewing calendar events in the resource planning view. Being able to see all the plan time for resources in one spot is a real game changer for being able to plan accurately.